Hello everyone! So today, we from Good 10 are going to talk about nylon-based products. What is nylon? Okay, so basically, nylon is a polymer, a synthetic material called plastic, and the most common is nylon 6 heads. And the structure of this nylon is shown in the slide. Okay, so nylon 6 heads is a combination of two polymers through a process called condensation, polymerization, which eliminates water, and nylon is also called polyamides because of the backbone chain amide. What are the nylon properties? First of all, nylon's backbone is very regular and symmetrical. And because of nylon has a crystalline structure, it makes very good fibers. Next, nylon is thermoplastic, which means it turns runny when you heat it up. Then, it is very waterproof, so water molecules cannot penetrate through it. And then, it is wearproof, which is very durable. And lastly, it is highly resistant towards natural nasties, such as molds and Mom, do you know where my stockings are? I think it should be in the second drawer of your closet. Okay, thanks mom. There are many different types of stockings like silk stockings and wool stockings. Today, I'll be talking about nylon stockings. Nylon stockings are made from nylon 66 and the last of the stockings are produced by adding titanium dioxide. Let's start off with the history of nylon stockings. Nylon stockings made their debut in Wilmington, Delaware in October 1939. This is because the inventor of nylon, Wallace Shim Carroll, the work for the Dupont company which is headquartered there. When Dupont realized that nylon was durable and washable, they decided to channel nylon into the women's stocking market that was being dominated by silk and rayon stockings at that time. For the next part, let's find out about the making of nylon stockings. Nylon stockings are not made from nylon chips but from fibers of nylon which are effectively strands of plastic yarn. The fibers of nylon are made by melting nylon chips and drawing them through a spinneret, which is a wheel or plate with lots of tiny holes in it. The nylon fibers are then kneaded together by a machine to become a stocking. Oh no, it's raining. Luckily, I have my umbrella with me. So today we're going to talk about umbrella. Back in the AD, Romanian women used umbrella to show themselves from the UV ray. And there are many types of umbrella, but specifically, we're going to talk about nylon umbrella. So, this is the nylon structure. This is nylon materials. And nylon tafera is the one that we use. What is it? Is it a fabric rated at 190 feet? And tafeta nylon is coated with polyurethane, which is bio coating, modified X ray hybrid system. And that's what makes your umbrella waterproof. So, why do we use it? First, it is lightweight, for you, easy for you to carry, durable, water repellent, anti UV ray. It is also flame retardant, can prevent the uh, fire from spreading, very soft and would be resistant during stormy days. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. So this section I will present about base nylon products which specifically about Whistler Toothbrush. Let's start with some introduction. The invention of nylon was made public by Charles Stein, a vice president of DuPont, on October 27, 1938, at a meeting of women club members in New York. The first application of nylon was in toothbrush, which are nylon blisters replace ball blisters. This is because ball blisters had been hard to obtain since the Japanese invasion of Banshuya. 1937. So this slide I will talk about advantages of nylon crystals. Firstly, a toothbrush manufactured by a method for manufacturing crystals on a toothbrush according to the present invention, making it possible to implement more excellent cleansing performance 
and penetration as compared to resisting crystals on a toothbrush. Lastly, the nylon crystal have suitable elasticity and flexibility. So for the last section, I'm going to talk about method for manufacturing crystals on a toothbrush. So for the first step is manufacturing a core shaft type filament composed of a core part and a shift part. As the polymer is in forming the iron component, it is preferable to use any one or at least two polymer resins of polyester such as nylon 66 and nylon 612. For the second step is cutting the filament. And the third step is immersing one end of the filament in step 2 in a processing tank filled with a different solution. In the case in which the polymerizing from the filament is polymide such as nylon, it is preferable to use an acidic solution such as a hydrochloric acid solution and a nitric acid solution. For the fourth step, Immersing the other end of the filament in step 3 in a processing tank filled with an alkaline solution. The fourth step may be performed through the same process as in step 3. So, for the last step is when the tapering process is terminated, a tapered portion may be formed by washing to remove a hydrolyzed portion.